in hospital information systems in today's world by uh, Professor Vajira Disanayake. Professor Vajira is the president of the Health Informatics Society of Sri Lanka. Uh, his special interests are in medical genetics and genomics, uh, biomedical informatics and bioethics. Uh, he, uh, he is, is also, also the professor, professor in anatomy, anatomy faculty, faculty of medicine, medicine university, university of colombo and, and the founder, founder chairperson and member specialty, specialty board in biomedical, biomedical informatics, informatics sports, sports graduate, graduate institute of medicine, of medicine university, university of colombo i invite, I invite uh, uh, professor vajira desanayake to come to the stage please Good morning, Good morning, everybody. I'd like to begin uh, by thanking Dr. Deer Singh for the invitation to talk at this conference. It's indeed a pleasure to be here and to talk to you this morning. I have um, been working with the IIH uh, for a little while now. Meaning, uh, the Health Informatics Society has been working with them to try to uh, improve awareness about uh, nursing informatics and last year when we had our annual conference we had a session on nursing informatics and this year too in october when we host the commonwealth medical associations conference in colombo uh, we plan to have uh, another sim a couple of symposia at that conference uh, so um, this is a growing collaboration and i hope that uh, the health informatics society uh, together, uh, together with IIH, with IIH uh, yes, S would be able, able to promote, to promote uh, nursing informatics in the country. I was, I was uh, invited, uh, invited to give this talk some time back, back and um, uh, they suggested, suggested a topic. topic. And as I, I usually, usually do, do, I you know keep that aside, that aside and, and take it out, out a few days before my talk, talk to see what I'm going to talk. talk. And when I took out the topic a couple of days ago, I realized I was in a little bit of trouble because uh, this was not the, what was expected from me was not to give an uh, ordinary talk on uh, nursing informatics. It would have been very easy to give that talk. And uh, therefore, I had to paraphrase what, I, uh, what I'm going to tell you. Um, in the context of the role of a nurse in hospital information systems in the world today, or more or less, I think, try to contextualize it to the situation in Sri Lanka at the moment. Uh, so this is somewhat of a different talk. So if you really want to um, understand uh, nursing informatics, I would suggest that you look at page 77 of the book that you have got. Uh, there, uh, there is uh, a four-page, very nice article, article on what nursing, nursing informatics, informatics is and, and the entire breadth of the field of, the field of nursing, nursing informatics. informatics. So today, as I said, my talk is slightly different. So what are hospital information systems? In today's world, hospital information systems are comprehensive, integrated, Information systems designed to manage all aspects of a hospital's operations. It could be medical aspects, it could be administrative, financial, legal issues, and so on. So, in other words, we could say that the business of healthcare is getting computerized, and um, every aspect of healthcare is getting computerized. So when we talk of uh, nursing informatics or the role of a nurse in this milieu of information systems, I think our focus is on the medical aspects because uh, that is where you play a major role unless you become an administrator. So nurses are everywhere in the health service from uh, outpatient clinic to the most specialized ICU to a theater, wherever you 
uh, name it. And, and the nurse's um, workspace, workspace, as it were, wherever it is in this hospital system, is getting computerized. And if your place of work has not got computerized, it will get computerized within the next few years. And there's no way out of that. And we have to be ready for that. Now, as the uh, kind of a domain of nursing informatics has evolved over the you know, past 20, uh, two to three decades, a specialty called you know, nursing informaticists has also evolved. That is, those who are specialists in informatics, specialist nurses in informatics, as it were. Now, such people usually work in information systems departments of hospitals and are highly skilled in these three areas, computer science, information technology, and uh, nursing science, as it were. So that is the specialist branch of informatics within nursing. And I do not think um, or foresee in the next few years that we would have uh, nursing informaticists or informaticians within our health system because we have just only got the health informaticians going in the country. So therefore, we have to look at the role of a nurse in hospital information systems in today's context in this country in relation to the use of information technology for nursing functions. So what are the functions? I'd invite the nurses in this audience to reflect on what are the functions that you perform that require the use of computers and information technology. If you're not using, you can reflect on what aspects of my functions may get computerized within the next few years. So I was trying to figure out what the nurses may be doing uh, in a day-to-day -day practice using computers and information technology. What tasks do nurses perform using computers and information technology in a day-to-day -day practice? There are few hospitals in the country where there are hospital, uh, you know, patient record systems and so on. And in those uh, hospitals, I'm sure the nurses are entering data into systems and obtaining information from electronic medical record systems and using that record, uh, this information uh, in the healthcare setting. Dispensing drugs is uh, another important aspect of the nursing, uh, the, care, uh, the work of the nurses, and perhaps some of you are using information technology. Uh, for uh, that. that, you are you also, also probably using information technology to monitor patients in your settings. And some, some of you, you may be involved in scheduling patient visits and so on and using technology to do that. So there may be other tasks that you do in the Sri Lankan context today. Uh, but these are some of the tasks that came into my mind. So if we basically expect our nurses to perform some of these tasks, then we need to ask the next question. What knowledge and skills should nurses have or, should be, uh, or they should develop to perform these tasks? So if you are a student nurse, question then is during training, what are the skills that you have to learn? So the important skill that comes to mind is general computer literacy. So today there should not be anyone who is computer literate as it were. You need to be able to use a computer, type, enter information, use basic software packages like Microsoft Word or the equivalent of those 
Excel, make a PowerPoint presentation. I mean, those are things that little children do. My daughter, who is in grade six, is taught to do these things now. And she makes PowerPoint presentations for me. Uh, and I'm outsourcing my work to her to make life easy for me. Uh, and they come up with very nice, uh, you know, designs when you want them. So if grades, children in grade six, 10 years, 12 years can do this, we can't be computer illiterate. And you as, uh, you know, nursing students should strive to uh, develop those skills. And of course, another very important fact is awareness about ethical, legal, social, and social issues related to the use of um, not only information systems, but information. And I think uh, that is an area where we really have to work very hard to improve the standards. And I'm really happy to have listened to Dr. Idir Singh's talk earlier and the fact that he had given prominence to that talk and put it as one of the first uh, talks in this conference when everybody's attention is, uh, you know, still there, not in the afternoon, soon after lunch or something. Uh, and um, because it's so important, I do not want to give uh, examples of how we are careless about these things in this country, but it's so important to improve the standard of our practice. Now, for those who are in practice, assuming that they have general computing knowledge, they have had an idea about uh, the you know ethical aspects of practice and so on, training on the information systems that they use in day-to-day -day practice is so important. And you cannot really expect someone to be given a computer, told this is a screen, you enter the data. That does not happen. And so, uh, if there are any administrators here who are really putting money down in computerizing your hospital operations, make sure that you have put a good amount of money down for training, because training uh, is all very important. There's also the need for training on instruments used to monitor patients, and that is an area that people uh, tend to forget about. If you are, you know, connecting systems, connecting devices, those who use those instruments have a, should have a basic understanding. Because if you are monitoring a patient using a device, if a, you know, wire comes out, which you just need simple plugging. You cannot be waiting for a maintenance department, somebody to arrive there, patient would be dead. Uh, so therefore, having an understanding of the devices that you use is also important. So these are some of the knowledge and skills that I think we need to try to promote. So that, that brings me to the title uh, of my talk, the role of nurses in hospital information, so uh, information systems today. Uh, so if we assume that our, you know, nurses are given those training and skills, knowledge and skills and so on, what we're trying to achieve then is to ensure that the information technology is used effectively and efficiently to improve patient safety and provide better quality of care. So it should, at the end of the day, translate into this safety and better quality of care. Otherwise, we have not achieved uh, our objectives. So can we do this in our, in our setting? I mean, uh, do we, um, is this a you know, utopia? Can we achieve this? We can, uh, I submit to you, we can achieve this. Here is a midwife from Monaragala using a smartphone to monitor children. Last three months, the Health Informatics Society of Sri Lanka has been turning, training 600 midwives in Monaragala, Polanarua, and Norelia to use mobile phones to gather information and uh, monitor the children. This project was funded by UNICEF, and I think there was some uh, 
part funding coming from us said also at some point in time for this project i'm not aware uh, of how that funding came through but there was australian money also involved so if uh, you know owners in monaragala can be using a smartphone in a day to day life uh, monitoring the children um, then you know why not owners at nhsl the national uh, the national hospital uh, use devices to uh, in their daily -day practice so so it is possible it is uh, possible to do it and we need to get there the reason why we need to get there is because of the future the future looks like this we are going through a democratic transition where as you know our we have a, you know elderly population so this is somewhere where we are now today but in another few years we would get here the second thing is the burden of disease as you also see the burden of disease is changing from 1990 where this chart shows all those blue areas the non-communicable diseases today moving on to 95 to 2000 to 2005 and this is 2010 the non-communicable diseases are increasing and as a result of that if you just look at kind of the global burden of one of these conditions like diabetes you find that there are so many patients there and you cannot really build hospitals to have look after these patients there are so many so for every patient in a hospital there are thousands in the community and for example in the usa the uh, director of the national institutes of health virtually said a few years ago that if the plan to improve the health of a nation is to build hospitals that's not going to work because in the future there are so many uh, patients who are going to be out there in the community and probably the future patient would like something like this bearing all kinds of wearable devices being monitored but connected to hospitals and hospital systems where they would be monitored in real time and the nurses would be playing a big role in this uh, kind of ecosystem that would be built in the future so for young people who are here who are looking at a career spanning another 20 30 years that is where we are going in another 10 to 15 years or 10 years down the line or even faster the way things are happening now and you need to see how am i going to equip myself to do this work so in my department for example in the university even a laborer who i get into the department i make sure that person knows everything how to operate a computer how to do things how to you know type letters how to make presentations everything even laborers are trained on that in my department so that you know the future is that i can't preach this if i don't do it in my department so that's why i do it so today the eager amongst you may be saying it's computers are useful let's you know get to it but i'm going to tell you that in the future this is what you are going to say you know, you'll be hugging and, you know, uh, your computers say, how did I manage without it? Because that's the only way we can manage uh, the um, enormous amount of burden of these managing patients, chronic disease patients, elderly patients, and so on, uh, that we would have in the future. So with those words, um, I would like to end my talk by inviting you to embrace technology. We need to embrace technology. And if you do not embrace technology, you would be ancient uh, and your children will overtake you. Uh, the next generation will overtake you. And we need to ensure that uh, we are current in whatever we do. Thank you very much.